What up, what up, Zaheb here, the DJ Eddie One, and I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to put your phone back to stock, complete stock. I'm talking about the Android Samsung Galaxy S, better known as the Vibrant. A lot of people have updated the phone to Froyo or uh, other softwares using Samsung keys. What happens when you use Samsung keys, it, uh, it doesn't let you be able to install custom ROMs. Now I've had a few people have problems with that. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put you back to complete stock so that you can flash ice cream sandwich on your phone. As you can see right here, this is the Samsung Galaxy S Vibrant on T-Mobile and it's already running ice cream sandwich. What I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna put this phone to complete stock. This one is running a custom ROM call Passion. If you already saw my other video on how to install this custom ROM on your Samsung Galaxy, let me tell you, it flies. All right. So if you're having that problem where you can't put this custom ROM on your phone because you updated your phone through Samsung keys, we're going to put it to complete stock. And once you're on stock, then you can watch my other video on how to install ice cream sandwich. All right. So you could be on ice cream sandwich 4.0.3, just like this phone right here. It's really simple. Make sure you download all the files that are on the description of this video. Put them all in the same folder, all right? Preferable, put them in the desktop, make up a folder, and make sure all the files are in the same folder, all right? Then you're gonna turn the phone off. It doesn't matter if you're on Froyo, Gingerbread, or whatever, or any other custom ROM. You could always go back to complete stock, and uh, that's actually the best safest way to install a custom ROM is to go to complete stock and just start from scratch. All right, so the phone is off. You're gonna take the battery out for a couple of seconds, leave the battery out, put it back in. All right, this one's a little different than going into recovery. We're not gonna go into recovery. We're gonna go into download mode. And the only way to do that is by holding down the volume down and the volume up button, all right? You hold both of them, volume up and volume down button. You don't have to press power on this one. Don't hold power. Just install, you gotta put, you gotta put the uh, USB cable as you're holding the volume up and volume down button. And you're gonna get this. You're gonna get this right here this uh, Android logo here saying download. It's on download mode. It's not downloading anything. That just got you into download mode. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you install the drivers that I put on the description of the video. Make sure you download the drivers. You install the drivers. You turn the phone on and you hook it up and make sure that the, that the, that the drivers uh, successfully install. As you can see right here on the Odin 1.3 uh, program, you see the yellow COM6, it might say COM3, COM4, whatever on your computer. As long as you see that, that means that the phone is detected. All right, the only things you wanna have checked are auto reboot and auto reset, as you can see right there. All right, you don't need to check anything else. Everything else, leave it unchecked. And what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna go into the pit, you're gonna click right here, pit. All right, this is assuming you already downloaded all the files and that they're all in the same place. All right, pit, my file is on the desktop and it's on a folder called Vibrant Root Tools that I created and there it is, the pit file. You wanna select that pit file right there, double click it to select, all right, then it's gonna go into the Odin pro, uh, program, as you can see right there. All right, what, once it's on there, you're gonna uh, go into the PDA, the bottom one, the second one, the PDA, and you're gonna select the other uh, file, which is a TAR file, T959. You're gonna uh, double click that, and once you double click it, it's gonna automatically check the PDA box, which that's fine, that's what you wanna have, all right? Once you have both of those there, 
All you got to do is hit start and watch the magic happen. All right, this phone, as you saw a little while ago, it had an ice cream sandwich. Right now, once I press start and I let it run, it's going to take me back to complete stock. We're going to zoom in right here so you can see what's going on. Oops, zoomed in a little too much. There it is. All right, it's taking you step by step. As you can see right there, it's saying factory. That means it's taking you back to factory reset right now. And uh, you could also see the phone here at the bottom in progress. As soon as that's finished, I'm going to restart this phone. It's actually going to restart on its own and it's going to come back to Eclair, which is the complete stock version of this Samsung Galaxy S Vibrant. So as you can see, this is real easy to do. In case you ever mess up your phone while you're uh, installing, installing a custom ROM and uh, your phone freezes or whatever, this is your salvation here. This is your, your way out to start all over again from scratch. It's almost done there. It takes about two to three minutes max. So we're going to let it run right there. And as soon as that's done, your phone, your phone will come back to life in case it's frozen or just in case you just want to start from scratch. You could use this Odin program on other phones. I've seen other videos where other people use this program with other phones. So in case your phone is uh, able to use this program, then this program comes in really, really handy. I have used it before when I tried installing a custom ROM and uh, for some reason something goes wrong and the phone freezes or doesn't want to start, then you could always start all over. While that's loading, let me remind you, you can follow me on Twitter at DJEddie1. That's at DJEddie1 and on Facebook.com forward slash DJEddie1. And also my Facebook, uh, 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 my website is DJEddie1.com, all right? DJEddie1.com. What it's doing there is installing all the software from original stock. So you can see right there it says pass. As soon as you see that green pass sign right there, you're good to go. And it even, it even gives you the time underneath on how long it took. This took 2 minutes 54 seconds to finish. All right, The phone is restarting on its own. Leave it plugged in. Let it finish. Let it finish doing this thing. And it's going to uh, reboot on its own to the original Eclair software, which is the software this phone originally came with. From here on, you can uh, reroute your phone and uh, do your uh, custom ROM installations. And if you want to know how to install Ice Cream Sandwich into this phone, make sure you check out my other videos on how to root and install Ice Cream Sandwich into this phone which is exactly what I'm gonna do right now put this phone back into ice cream sandwich alright obviously I already did it that's what the other video is for and I'm not gonna do it right here because uh, there's a, I already did that video for you so make sure you go check it out root and install ice cream sandwich into your phone after you see this uh, uh, boot up animation come on then you can unplug the phone alright Let it do its thing. I'm going to wait until it comes back on so you can see that this does work.
There it is. Bam, it's back. Like I said, follow me on Twitter at DJ Eddie One, Facebook.com forward slash DJ Eddie One, and my website, DJ Eddie One.com. All right, you guys have a good one. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope this video helped you out. Peace out.